Hi guys, I am back and today we are playing a new game, Life is Strange. Um, I can't wait, so let's do this gameplay walkthrough. Okay, so that it looks like so we're back surreal. in a classroom. Little I only played this game a few times, so I don't remember but it could be that, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah, like Reminds you okay. of um, the Walking Dead Everything games, but you get to decide what I'm you want okay. to do. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Vic. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing Why at me artists? now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max as a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine details. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? From the 1800s I can hear the class the laughing. Nerd. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Well, October 1st, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching my, the leaves change color, turn it into tiny flames. I should find a real Halloween party to crash. 
I can experience some social mingling. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my Greek cred. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. First American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or Even on Look at this crap. Online. How could And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco. You'll be Fetted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentary. I just worked so You can never escape the lighthouse here. Hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, so now let's look around and see what else we see in this classroom. I didn't even realize she was right there. I walked by and didn't even notice. Well, that is it, you guys. Thanks for watching, and I had fun playing my first episode of Life is Strange. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.